It's time to travel around in style. We're making roads. Plus, an easy first time course setup. Hello everyone, my name is Sheffrey and welcome back for episode 10 of the Satisfactory series here on YouTube. Today I'm finally diving more into blueprints of building my first ever highway system to eventually go around the entire map. Thank you guys for all the support and help with the series so far. Let's jump into it. Alright, episode 10. We finally made it to double digits. Um, and today I'm actually pretty excited to be doing this one. We're going to be building a quartz cave factory um, over where those two quartz nodes were above our coal. And uh, then we're going to get started on a, on a road network. Um, so we can start actually expanding across the world and we don't have to walk everywhere. I mean, we can drive too, but um, I mean, it gets a little complicated trying to go through tree trees and navigate the landscape. So I think we're going to try and build like a highway network um, and ideally we'll end up using some blueprints. So we'll get to play around with those some more today. Um, so we got our to-do list on the side, Quartz Cave Factory, and start our road network. Um, turns out last time when I was just taking a wild guess at how many constructors and everything we need, I was exactly correct. I need 8 constructors for my quartz crystal line, and I need 12 constructors for my silica line. So that's a total of 20. Um, I've got everything we're going to need, so we can head on over there in a minute. Um, just to be aware though, um, for building some of the roads, we're going to need some more things from the awesome shop. I've got them queued up here. Solid line patterns, dotted line patterns, and half foundations. Um, we'll need a few other things as well, but um, these were some of the main things we're missing. We're going to need 13 tickets to buy them in total, so I've just been sinking a few things, um, and by the time we're done our quartz factory, we should uh, we should be there and have enough points. All right now I've got 12. Okay, so we're just going to head on over to that quartz cave, and then instead of running over there, driving over there, I actually ended up turning one of our... or I added another output to our human cannon launcher... And we are a parachute now, so we should be able to launch ourselves over in that direction. All I did was I removed the tube facing that way, and I just turned one facing off in that way. So let's see if this will actually work, and hopefully the parachute saves me. Um, I am bringing some uh, noblesk, uh, noblesks along, because there are some elite spitters over there that we're going to have to deal with. Um, so you can either you can use whatever you want to deal with them. Um, you could also use the rebar gun that we haven't quite unlocked yet, but uh, really anything you want to deal with them. I think there's three elite spitters over there, so it will take you uh, a couple minutes and, you know, just try not to die. So let's head on up in here. Let's see if this works. Go around a couple times. Hold right. Okay, not bad. I thought that was going to throw me further, but... Pull out the parachute. I genuinely thought that was going to throw me a lot further than it did. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys when we get over there. Okay, we are finally back here at the Quartz Cave, now that I took my very slow parachute flight over here. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and see if we can find these spitters. There they are. There's two of them. So we're just going to throw some Noblisks at them. Hit them with one. I think it'll probably take about three. Oops. Not if you do that. Oh, two. Two works. Okay. I think I missed there. Come to me. Come closer. I don't want to waste that one. Thank you. What happened? <laughs> Did he get hit by the one and I just gave him a concussion? Okay, there's those guys dealt with. I think there's one more over here. But you know what, if there is, I think that's probably fine, because I don't think I'll have to go out that far. So, now that we are here, we can bring out our coffee mug. 
So these are both pure. So these are going to give us 240 parts per minute. So each node is going to feed each line. So one line, one node is going to do our, um, our quartz crystal. And then one line is going to do all our silica. Let's get out some foundations. Let's start with four meter down there. Bring it out this way. Actually, I want to bring it up by one. I don't know if I can, though. So I'm going to do it like that. Do the same with this one. Seems like I may have to raise it just like the slightest. Like right after this one. Because I think otherwise it goes into the sand. Yeah, I don't like that. So I'll have to bring it up just by one when we get to this part. But for now, I think we can put on our miners. Let's get our minor mark twos. I have to be able to see the see the node. Okay, I want to send them. I'm gonna send one in this. Actually, probably just send them both out, right? I have them both face this way. And no music in the cave is kind of eerie. Yeah, it's on face out. So there's one. One should be able to go here. I said to be able to see it. Actually, yeah, this one I'll face in this direction since I don't want to combine them. That should help give me a little bit more room. Now I can fill this in. There we go. I'm actually going to make these concrete because I think it looks cooler. So we're going to go materials. I want to make a all concrete floor here. Much better. Hopefully it's still easy to follow along building. I suppose I should have waited until I was done everything, but um, it is nice because at least in the concrete floors, you, you know exactly where the middle is. Okay, so from here, we're going to set up our quartz crystal line. Um, so I think we'll do... Which one needs more space? Silica needs more space, so I think I'll do that over here where there's more room. Because I want to try and just keep it all on the one level for now. Um, so I think I'll set up the uh, quartz crystal here. Because it only takes eight constructors. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have this feed into a giant manifold line. Um, that maybe I'm going to set up. How much room do I have here? I got one, two, three. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to do it four... Like four, and just do a line down the middle and do four on either side. So we're going to grab our constructors. And then uh, maybe I do want to turn it so it faces the other way. Although then I'm really going to lose the amount of room I have here. Oh, that might work actually. Uh, Actually, no, let's just do it like this. Um, so we'll put them on, put them on either side of here. We'll face one like that. There's enough, I think there's, yeah, there's enough room. Okay. Let's be a little tight, but if you don't give yourself more room. That's a, a more, that's totally fine. 
I'm going to line up those feet with the corner there. I'm going to do four of those. Two. Mm, yeah, that's not going to work. I take it back. I think what I'll do is I'll, I will turn this one. I realized I put minor mark one on the hot bar and I was like, wait, why did I even do that? When am I ever going to use a minor mark one again? Okay, so face that one also in that direction. To buy us more room. So I need to make sure I at least have another so I can start here. We'll do constructor. Oh, make sure the input is facing towards me here. Just nudge it over into place. There we go. Feet are in the right spot. It's a little close, but that's fine. So we got one, two, three, four. And then we do the same on the other side. On the right spot. Yep. One, two, three, four. I guess it doesn't matter what time of day it is when you're building in a cave. Um, okay, so um, all of these are going to be set to quartz crystal, and they're all going to be down clocked to 80%. So we're going to copy those settings and then using control V, we're just going to paste that on everybody. There we go. Everyone's set to 80%. So now we're going to put in our splitters. Don't have to use smart splitters, obviously, just regular splitters. So first one we're going to do here, make sure it's lined up with the middle. Line it up with the machine so we get a nice straight line there. And we're going to turn the input here. Line all these up with all your constructors in the middle. And then mark one belts, feeding all your machines. Oops. And mark three belts as your uh, manifold line. There we go. That's the quartz crystal line. Now we just need to collect everything together using our mergers. So... Um, output facing to the right. We're going to send these over to a storage bin. Which one I guess I could just do... Oh, this row will raise it up a level because I'm also going to need an awesome sink. Or can I go right here? Ooh, okay. So we'll face the output facing towards that storage bin over there. We're going to move that storage. And then what's the output on these? 18 per minute. So you could do mark one coming out from this one. Mark one, well, mark one belt's coming out from all the machines. Um, 18 and 18, that can still be a mark one belt. Still be a mark one belt. And then mark two belt coming out of this one. Just barely, but. Actually, I think we'll just combine all these together. But yeah, still Mark II belt coming out of here. So here's what, or I'm actually going to turn this again. Sorry for my indecisiveness. Okay, that's a splitter. Eight, there we go. Output facing to the right, just like all the other ones. Mark one belt, Mark one belt, and Mark II belt coming out of this. 
So we're going to do the same on this side. We're going to combine all these together. Grab our mergers. Output facing to the left. All your outputs facing left. Mark one belts between everybody. I guess I didn't do that on the other side to make sure it's the same. I'll do that more in like blueprints, I think, where I use like the extra splitters and mergers and everything. I'll help clean it up a bit going forward. Okay, so now I just got to bring those two lines together, which means I also need to bring this up by one. So we're going to grab our foundations. We are going to go... The one here. Grab our one meter foundation. Hopefully it'll let me put it on top. It's being a little tricky. I think because it's partially in the ground. There we go. Don't need to go up super high. And in fact... I don't know. Oh yeah, belt should be able to come up. There we go. So yeah, mark two belts coming out of those. And then we're going to merge them together here. Merger, input, or output facing towards me. And then I'm going to do a smart splitter. I don't have the AI limiter. I think it's in this box here. There they are. Because I should only need two smart splitters for this whole build. So smart splitter there. With an industrial storage on one side. Make sure the orange is facing that way. And then an awesome sink on the other side. I'm going to have to add a little bit more space for Mr. Awesome Sink. Damn, I wish I could line it up, but I think it's going to clip with the with the belt. Oh, maybe not. Let's put that down. Yeah, it does. So here's what I'll do. Smart sync face like this. How far back do I have to go? Do I have space? I do. Okay. That's fine. Clip the awesome sync into the wall a little bit. So mark two. Actually, no, these are mark three belts. Sorry. Mark three, mark three. Smart splitter set left to do any. Center output none. Right output overflow. Any undefined, right? Yep. And then we connect the Mark II belts into here. There we go. Connect those in. I don't know what we're... What it's trying to line up with over here. There we go. Now that should all just need power, I think. I'm going to do a little overhead for you. The chef free flyover. 
So there you go. You got one Miner Mark II. It's going to be outputting 240 raw quartz per minute. Eight constructors, all split doing 80%, so it's nice and even. Um, all with a manifold line down the middle. Manifold line on the outside to merge it all together. Into a smart splitter. We store up what we need in this industrial storage. And any, once it fills up, it goes into the awesome sink. So now we can do the next one. Honestly, pretty much the same thing. Except 12 constructors instead of uh, instead of 8. So thankfully we have more room over here. Let me go ahead and grab some more of these. Make sure we expand out. So like I said, we are going to need more room on this one. Apparently I'm in the way. I have to move this sulfur first. There we go. So 12 constructors, I'll do the same. I'll just do six on each side. So I'll have to do the line down the middle. Should I do the line down the middle like right here? I think that'll probably fit the best. Unless I do it here. Oh yeah, I'll do it here. Okay. So starting from we'll go on this one. From our constructors. Same thing. Make sure your your little corner feet are on the corner of the foundation. Go one, two, three. Four, five, six. Perfect. Perfect amount of space. Little feats on the thing. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Definitely left myself with some extra space here, so I think what I'll probably end up doing is I'll add the other sink over here. And I might lie, and I might send it back, but we'll see. Sometimes extra space is, is nice to have. These are lined up, right? Okay. So now we're going to put our splitters all, oops, our splitters all down the middle. There's my splitter, there it is. Uh, with the input facing towards me. Oops, that did not land in the right spot. There we go. Mark one belt feeding all your machines. Mark three belt feeding all the way down the line. Oops. There we go. Mark three belt all the way down. I mean, there might be a better way of... I think the way I did this before was I turned it into two floors, but... And I think that gave me the little bit of extra room I needed to work with, but... I mean, this works just fine. So we're going to need a Mark III belt feeding from this... Um, this machine all the way over... One, two... Feed that in there. Nice, perfect 90 degree turn. So those will start being fed. So let's set these to silica. And the first two are going to be set to 50%. So obviously you could do this with one less constructor and just don't downclock it, but I like to do it so it's so it's a nice uh, even split. So now we're going to do silica. I'm going to copy these settings from this one. I'll go and put it on all of the rest of them now. Go 
I think this is just a little bit faster than uh, having to set them all individually. There we go. Everyone should be set. First two are down clocked. No power is hooked up to anybody yet. Set up our merger lines. But uh, yeah, I definitely appreciate all the really great feedback you guys have been giving me all throughout this series. All the tips. I've learned actually quite a bit already. Oh, Jesus, that autosave got me. So yeah, this is going to have to be lifted up a little bit. So it can be Mark 1 belts feeding all the mergers. And I'll have to do some quick maths on what belts are what for the rest of them. So we put out 37 and a half per minute. So literally this one, Mark 2, Mark 2. And then I think it's Mark 3. Thirty-seven point five. Thirty-seven point five. It's like seventy-five. Okay, so that could actually probably be a Mark II belt. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It could be. Whoa! Oh, I didn't know you could pull your parachute that low. Yeah, probably, uh, probably doesn't really matter if you do Mark 2 or Mark 3. As long as it doesn't get backed up. Wait, did these not get... Yeah, so these only put out 11.25 per minute. Oh my god, I clicked on the wrong thing here. That's why. That's funny. There we go. <laughs> I was like, hey, well, hang on a second. Yeah, this one's right. It was the other one that I didn't set up correctly. These are all silica, right? Yeah, okay. I was like, well, hang on a second. Okay. Now everything's... That would, that would have messed my brain up. I'd have been like, wait, where'd that come from? I put this quartz in here. So, same thing over here. Mark two there. And, oops. Two belts there. So, I believe I can combine these together. into one line, but I will have to raise it up, as you can tell. We'll do the same thing we did over there. Put one down. We'll grab our one meter foundation. So actually, one meter going to be enough. Hmm. You know, I'll, I'll bring it up higher and I'll just use Oh, lifts aren't going to work. Never mind. Oh, you know what? I could do ramps. Yeah, let's do ramps. There. Oh, wait, we only have a little bit. Of, that's that little bit of clipping is fine. Oh, I actually need to go even higher. Okay, that's fine. Why not? Wow, that parachute is really, really something. All right, this is going to end up looking so awkward because I built this this way, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to say there's there's definitely a better way of doing this. Maybe don't maybe don't copy me on this one. Mark three lifts. Mark three belts. This is going to be so funny. How you doing, Jeffrey? 
all over the place with this one. Okay, merger here in the middle. This is an excessive use of space. Mark three belts, connect those together. Does that make sense? I think I actually can't move this many at once. I think I'm actually, yeah, I think I might be incorrect here. I think, I think you guys are witnessing my poor math skills again. So I think I actually need two sinks here. Because we're going to be making so much. So what I'm going to need to do... Is this is going to have to feed... Into a smart splitter. Wait, why is it not... Hello? Why is it not zooping? There we go. I was like, why you no zoop out? So, let's put our smart splitter in here. Which means I'm also going to need another smart splitter, unfortunately. We'll have to make a AI limiter. So, connect that in there, right? Then we're going to do our storage bin. Right there. Mark 3 conveyor belt. And then we'll do our first awesome sink. Right here. That overhang should actually be fine. I think. Yep. I think that's fine. So I'm going to do it. Ready? I'm going to get our smart splitter. I'm going to nudge it ahead by one. I'm going to cheat. This guy's cheating. There we go. So left is going to be overflow. Center output can be any. So that side is now set up just fine. And this side is going to go just directly into an awesome sink. Is that an overhang? It does. Dang. How can I do this? Is that fine? This looks like we kind of built into the earth a little bit. Okay, this is where I might get a little... a little weird. Nailed it. Eh, uh, close. Close enough, anyway. Okay, so that is... That's everything. Now we just got to do all the power. I'm going to run around and do that really quick. So I might, I might just cut this part out where I put in all the power poles. Because, I mean, you guys know how that works. Okay, ran a power pole all the way from the coal line over here. Oh, auto save got me again. I'm just gonna run a temporary one down here. I'll hook up our miners. And get those going. Now, when everything is ready, I will just connect 
from this power pole right into the main line here. And all this, both these factories are connected together, so. I ended up just putting the power poles on top of my splitters in this one. Um, I don't know if I love doing that, but uh, because I end up trying to save space in this factory and keep things really close together, um, I kind of decided just to throw them up on top of the splitters. So that instantly backed up those lines. Um, that one's going to end up backing that up really fast as well. So let's go ahead and connect the rest of the machines in now. We'll go ahead and connect this power line to there. This should kick all our machines on. That one backed up over there? Yep, okay. I should kick the entire factory on now. Oh, that was, that was actually really cool to just kick on both factories all just boom. Look, they're all just pumping out materials now already too. Nice. It might take a while for these to get like backed up entirely. As you can see, these are going to go in and out for a little bit. But it'll catch up eventually. If you really want them to back up faster, what you can do, since these are only putting out 240 a minute right now, you can actually just put some, uh, you can overclock them. Do I have any, I don't have any power shards on me at the moment, but if you overclock them to 270, it'll just help back things up even faster. But that's not really a big deal. I know everything's working. We're now pumping out quartz. Or quartz crystal, yeah. And then the silica line over here, same thing. It's going to take a little bit for the rest of it to get backed up, but. And you can really pull the parachute out really, <laughs> a really low distance. Um, so we've got one feeding directly into a sink. The other feeding into storage. Here, I'll give you guys a flyover while I'm here. So we have one Miner Mark II feeding out 240 per minute into 12 constructors. The first two are down clocked to 50%. Oh, hey, turns out I did my math wrong again. Um, so you actually want to turn these to do 13.33 per minute uh, or clock speed of 35.5556%. Um, and that way you don't have to overclock your miner at all. And that should balance out this line. All right, back to the video. That should, that'll back up eventually and everything will balance out. Um, and then you're feeding into one storage and then the other side is going into an awesome sink This is just because we don't have belts that can handle enough at the moment once we unlock mark four belts this this double um, This double sink line can can be can be taken down um, And then we have over here. We have our quartz crystals Feeding into our storage once that storage is backed up. It's gonna feed this awesome sink um, And that'll really help boost our point production I mean, that's literally our quartz cave factory. It's not fully backed up yet, but that's all that's all completed. I can take that off our to-do list. Hopefully that was pretty straightforward if anyone is trying to follow along for the first time. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you want to do this split between two floors, I would highly suggest it. Then you won't have to worry about doing this like weird raising and certain parts of the floor and everything so um, I mean it doesn't look bad but it is you'll have a lot more space to work with if you split it between the two floors um, so anyway I think now we can head back to base and we'll start working on the road blueprints um, and then we'll start kind of building out a little bit of a road and what I got 14 coupons all right we needed 13 for the last little bit of parts I need for the road network so that'll be perfect so I'll see you guys back at the base. Okay, I'm back over at base. I did bring a cup, a little bit of the quartz with me so we could do a little bit of quartz research. So yeah, we should be able to do crystal oscillator. Which will unlock radio signal scanning for scanning for hard drives. And also a radar tower. 
Um, I'm not sure what a radar tower does. I'm assuming maybe it like uncovers parts of the map for you without you having to like run around and do it. Um, this is what I'm mainly going for. I really want to get the Explorer car, especially as we got a road network set up. We're going to need 10 crystal oscillators and 100 modular frames. Um, I'm not sure how difficult crystal oscillators are to make. Or where you make them. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. I can make I can make them already. How many did I need? It was, uh... It was 10, right? Okay. We'll make 10. Okay, 10 crystal oscillators and 100 modular frames. Unlock the Explorer. What about this one? I need five more and a bunch of noblesse. Okay, I'm not too worried about that one yet. I think this one, the pulse noblesse, I think this one it just creates like a like a shockwave. I'm not really in a rush to get that one. But the new vehicle. Let's take a look here. Five crystal oscillators, five motors, 15 uh, steel pipes, and five heavy modular frames. I may actually just have those things in my storage. I do. Motors, heavy modular frames. Look at that. The crash ship pods are actually coming in handy. Oops. I grabbed something there. I didn't mean to. What else do I need? I was put on the list. Five crystal oscillators. Okay. There we go. All right, Chevy's got a brand new set of wheels. All right, there's no fuel. Do I have any, uh, do I have any coal or anything? Not at the moment, no. Okay, so you're just gonna sit there for now. Um, you know, I actually kind of want to build like a garage at some point. But the first thing now we're gonna do that we get back is we're gonna start building our road network. Um, we just wanted to start doing some blueprints. So let's see. I think I'm going to want to build a lookout tower. Above the blueprint here. Yeah, this will be a lot better. Okay, so we all want, we want, yeah. we want to run over to the awesome shop here. Actually, print our tickets first. Print our 16 coupons. We're going to check out with solid line patterns, dotted line patterns, and the half foundations. Now I'm going to throw the remainder tickets in the crystal oscillator in here to side more space in my inventory. I'll get rid of the heavy modular frames as well and the motors. And then if I didn't need any of the other quartz stuff for unlocking the tree, I'll just throw it in the sink for now. Because I don't think I'm going to... Actually, I'll hang on to it a little bit. I don't think I'm going to be using any of my blueprints, but you never know. We'll throw it in blueprint storage. It'd be cool if uh, you could build blueprints, like, with stuff in storage without actually having to, like, have a extra storage... I could just pulls from. Okay, so let's figure out how we want to do this. We want to do probably probably just two meter foundations. No, on right in the middle. And we'll have this be like a four long road section. So that's going to be, that's going to be the actual road. We're going to turn that all into asphalt. And then you can see we don't have enough room on either side for an entire foundation. So that's where the half foundations come in. 
And for the half twos, if it'll be nice to me. There we go. I'll zoop those along the side. And then I actually want to make those concrete. Like a sidewalk. There we go. So hopefully it looks like our you can see the general idea of our road coming together. Um, so from here, we're going to add in, I think we'd X again for the patterns. And I'm going to do, some people do a solid line down the middle. You can do a solid or a center or a dotted. I kind of like doing dotted. Oh, we need the color cartridges. I forgot about that. Let's make those really quick. Uh, we just need some flower petals. Okay, got our color cartridges. So we'll go patterns, under dotted line, right down the middle. And then on the outside one, I'm going to want to do these solid lines. Oops, not a center line. Side line. Just like that. And I want to make the one the one on the side can stay orange. And then these ones I want to make white. Okay, there we go. Now we have oh, I fell off the tower. And we got a white line splitting the road down the middle. It gives you a foundation and a half each, which I think is a good size for trucks because trucks are actually pretty big. Um, and in like obviously tractors are Tractors only really need one foundation, but I think trucks are big enough to require the foundation and a half. So yeah, we got the white line down the middle, yellow line going down the side. I think that looks quite nice, actually. I'd like to build more advanced roads um, in the future with like maybe some like pipes going underneath as like a way to transport fluids and hide them away, like almost like a sewer system. But for now, I think this works. Um, and then on the sides where the I guess you call it like the sidewalk um, I think I'm gonna put road barriers oh that covers up the yellow line though doesn't it okay let's see which I like better then let's zoop that down oh I think I like the I think I like the barriers coming down the side can't like uh what if I do it like this. No, I can't like snap it together. I tried. Um Trying to decide which one I like better. Ouch. What if I put a railing over here? What does that look like? Okay, I definitely like the barriers over the railing, that's for sure. I'm just trying to decide if I really even need a barrier on the side. If the yellow line's like good enough. Because I don't know if it's necessarily, I don't know if I necessarily consider it a sidewalk. Because I mean like that's probably where I'll put like um, things like street lights and things like that. I mean I guess you can put them pretty close to the road. Can I put a street light clip through these? No, I can go right behind it. Yeah, I think I'll go with the I'll go with the barriers. So let me make sure I take the lot like otherwise this is gonna make it uh like I don't want to have ac any extra pieces. So how do I how to removal? Okay, there we go. Otherwise it's gonna make extra pieces necessary. 
sir. They're walking right out on my blueprint. Okay, so now I'll put the architecture. There we go. These back in. Yeah, I like that. And then maybe put like a railing on the outside or something like that. Um, okay, so that's the start of our... That's, I guess that's one piece of our road to start for now. I mean, we, I think we can make them more advanced as we go, but just to get sort of our basic road network down, I think that would work. Now, what do I need to make those uh, street lights? Quick wire, copper, and rods. So let me go grab a bunch of quick wire so we can put uh, street lights in. I'd like to put signs down for like some like cool glow lighting, but I think that's going to make my, I don't know if my computer could handle that many signs. I think I also realized that if you're looking at this from below, you can see the asphalt and I want it to be even like all concrete. So I think how I'm going to fix this, I'm going to take these out. We're going to switch to one meter foundations. All the way along there. If this guy could kindly get out of the way. What is happening? I missed. There we go. Sir? What are you... Get out of here. Is he stuck now? Alright, well. Time to see how many of these he can handle. It had happened, I'm sorry. Okay, let's put our one meter foundations back in. So I'm going to make these concrete. Just like everything else was. And then, go back up top. I'm going to put a one meter foundation on top of that. Set this all to be asphalt. Put in our patterns again. There we go. Okay, so now from below, everything should be concrete while you could still see the asphalt on top. Um, that was more just a personal preference thing. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but... Uh, I think it's just going to look better overall, especially if we have to pass under the, the road at any, at any point. Um, so I think we'll put, just so it doesn't look crazy if we're up in the air, I'm going to put some, uh, put some railings along the outside. And then we're going to put in a couple of those street lights. I think I'll alternate them, and what I'll do is I'll put one here, and then we'll put the other one here. I don't know if that's like too far apart from each other, but I'm going to hop down to do this because I won't be able to see the foundation. Yeah, like I don't know if that's too far apart from each other or not, but... I think that should be fine, right? That should be enough light. I'll shine down here, I'll shine down here, and then we'll just, and then that'll kind of like alternate them as they're going along, so we don't just have like a whole bunch of beams. Or should I do? Maybe I should do four. No, that'd be a lot of lights. I think we'll we'll leave it with that, and then we'll change it in the future if we need to. So I think that's good. That's a good just flat, straight, four-piece. 
we're going to call this uh, four by four road flat. Four by four flat road section with two lights. Um, uh, is there anything that vaguely looks like a road? Oh, there we go. I mean, that's close enough. And then the roads, I'm going to make green. New category. Roads. Thumbs up. <laughs> It'd be funny. Um, yeah, let's do this one. How do I add blueprint here? How do I? There we go. I did it. I figured it out. So there we go. Now we got a new subcategory for roads. There's our four by four road flat with lights. Save this blueprint. Here we go. This is my first blueprint section of roads. So now let's see how difficult it is to put this together. Um, so what did it say the build cost was on that? It was pretty high, actually. Let's go blueprints. Roads. Oh my god, look at it. It's glorious. It's so beautiful. I want to make sure it's on the world grid, though. So we have to start it on some foundations. And actually, would it really be so bad to just stick it on this thing over here? This is a place to start, at least. Okay, I'm going to fly this one time. Just so I can see what I'm doing. Because it's difficult with it being so large. Okay. So I know this is on the world grid. So by putting this down here. I'm just going to line it up like that. Cool. That clipping got me scared. So now I should be able to just put another one together, right? Blueprints. Find default mode, blueprint. So I want to clip these together. I guess it I guess it doesn't matter which way it faces them. <laughs> it's a it's an omnidirectional road. Okay. So I think the clipping is just when it's like coming together. My God, this is gonna be great. I want to try and make sure I'm not in the way of things. And obviously, we're gonna have to like cut down these trees. But hey, it's a nice looking road so far. Now, the other things I'm gonna have to figure out how to build are gonna be things that will allow me to turn, um, and then as well, like ramps for going up and down. So we're gonna have to build a ramp and I think I'm gonna build the ramp. I won't do the ramp as like the four by four sections. Just if you're gonna build like a long section, so you don't have to put down a whole bunch at once. 
Um, we'll make a we'll make a few smaller ones. Okay, I can stop flying now. But I'm liking how that road's looking. So I think other things we're gonna have to make. I'm gonna need like a like a four-way split. I'll need a four-way and a three-way. So now if we go here, we go clear the designer. Oh man, that's so nice. I'll have to take it apart one by one. Now let's do a like ramp section going up. I haven't done this yet, so let's try. I'm not really sure which I should use here. How does this work? I'm not particularly versed in the... Okay. Oh, wow. I like that a lot, actually. So I just want to make sure this makes sense. So if I'm trying to, like, clip this onto the other one... I feel like I can actually, I don't have to do this ramp here. That was just like the starter piece. And then I can just do like this. I think I made this a little too far out. All right, we'll do this again. So we got a two meter ramp. I really have to do one. Like that. Send it across. Take these ones out. So there we go. Now it starts further back like I need it to. I don't know if I need it to, but it just seems to make more sense to me. Oh, I also misplaced these. That's why. I was like, why am I? I'm so confused here. There we go. Right in the middle. I was like, why do I have four? And I was like, you're, you're building the road wrong, dummy. So a double ramp, four meters. Because, I mean, I couldn't see... Like, this seems like a good enough ink. Like, I don't think... I don't think any... Steeper would probably be an issue, and I don't think we need to go any flatter. Yeah, that just that, that barely even goes up. So, I'm, I might like if you guys are like, hey, we need one of those. I'll build them in the future. I mean, if you guys want like my blueprints um, to use in your own world, I have no problem giving them away for free. I mean, you guys have supported me in this series, so um, I just would have to figure out where it would be a probably a Google Drive. I guess would make the most sense. Um, now, obviously, I can't do half foundations coming up the side here so I'm thinking maybe just like a walkway going up would be would be okay let's see like can the ramp go up next to this oh, I guess it's not on the same angle So what can I put up next to this? Um, oh, that's even steeper. So maybe like, well, not like that, but. If we do this and then just do like a flat piece.
like that. I mean, I guess I don't really need stuff going up the side. Because, like, when am I ever going to be walking up the ramp next to the road? So I think what I'll do... Can barriers go on angles? No. But railings can. Okay. So we'll use railings. Cover the side. What? You, what? How did... Okay. I don't know what happened there, but... Because, yeah, I think we can take these... I think we take these ramps out anyway. And this would just snap in where we need it to. And so now we're just going to go up top and we'll paint everything. So we'll set these to asphalt. Get our pattern. Change that to white. Can we put one here? Now the railing covers it up. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's fine. I mean, this, this is really just for like, when we're like, oh, I need to move this up now. Is this going to work though? Or am I going to see? Okay. Yeah. So it's not quite the same here. You get the asphalt underneath. So how can I hide that? No. No. And I can't customize the bottom of them, apparently. Dang. Oh, well, that's okay. If there's if there's no way around that, then there's no way around that. Stacking up one on top of each other wouldn't uh, do it, would it? You can't stack them, I don't think. No, okay. That's what I thought. Yeah, it would be cool if you could, like, set them individually, but... Okay, that's our, uh... That's our ramp up section, at least. That was easy. Actually, can I add a third layer to that? Just to... Maybe speed along my... Actually, no. Let's leave it as two. Um, road ramp. Ramp up. Um, double section. Put it in roads. I guess maybe I should save one of these as a preset at some point. Okay, that's our ramp up section. So let's go see how putting that on over here works. I haven't done this before. Oh. Nice. I, <laughs> I pulled my parachute on a, on a one foot drop. Okay, so we got a blueprints. We got a road ramp. In blueprint mode, so it snaps together. And then can I snap this? How do I... How do I snap you in? Okay, so I take it off. So not blueprint mode, default mode here. I didn't have enough rods.
I'll have to figure out how to build like road supports at some point. Um, I'll build, I'll figure out like a big concrete pillar of some kind. Cause obviously just a giant road floating through the sky looks a little silly. Yeah, I mean, that works. We'll need a vehicle to test it with. Just need some ramps up for now. Oh, because it's on... Uh, I know why. This is on a one meter. It's on a weird foundation. A player is in the way. What happened there? in the way. What are you talking about? There we go. I'm just start. I want to see what the lights look like, especially since it's nighttime right now. Let's grab a power line. Where can I connect you to? Probably something here. Right there. Oh, I need rods. Okay, let me grab rods and then I'll be back so we can put in some more road section. I uh, wasn't able to get the lights hooked up at nighttime. That's okay. Still get an idea of what they look like. So you can hook lights together, but only by once. So like you can do them a line like that, but I can't do them across. I'll do it like that. Yeah, that kind of works. So they end up sort of like overlapping with each other and then leaving a little bit of a gap. Also, I wonder then if maybe I should shift it back a little bit and then it would just... No, no, I kind of like it like that. It's nice. Probably looks even better with global illumination on. Um, okay, so we got that set up. Need a vehicle to try it with as well. So I can clear that for now. And then I want to build. I'm going to do I'm gonna do a T section first. So how am I going to do this? We're going to go. Set back in zoop. Um, so we're just doing a T. Actually, yeah, I guess it should be all the way across. Like that. Oh, wait, where would... Uh... Okay, hang on. I can figure this out. Okay, I think I got it. So we actually don't need those back ones. So it's going to be these three, which we're going to set to concrete. And we're going to stack the asphalt on top of that. So this is a T section. So yeah, we're going to have the half foundations going along the back. I 
Put the road barriers. And then since it's the T section, I don't think I'll worry about putting lines in. Because I'm going to want to be able to go th like straight through and then also to the right. Or, or it doesn't really matter which way it's facing, but... Um, so this way, I should be able to clip this on to the rest of it, no problem. It no, doesn't matter what spot it's in. So... Actually, you know what I will do, though? Is we will put in some patterns. Just on that one. And on that one. And then, technically, the middle would be open for, uh, for the turns. I think that'll make sense. Okay, so let's save this one. Let's see how useful it is. Let's call it the road T split. Road split for three ways. It goes in roads. It gets the road icon. gets the green that I still haven't set for some reason. Here we go. Okay, so let's go actually try using this. I want to raise this up a little bit more and then I'm going to put a T section in so I can have one road facing going up that way. So I want to go a little bit higher, I think. So here, I'm going to put these on my hotbar here. New hotbar. One, two, three. So, road ramp. In default mode, so it snaps together on an angle. Uh, a little bit higher. There we go, that's plenty. So now, we clip in our 4x4 four four road flat. As it has to do its little clipping as it comes in. Now we're going to try our T. Blueprint. Okay. Uh, what did I do wrong? Oh, okay. There we go. I just had to nudge it into position properly. I think maybe I designed it. Oh, because I designed it off center. That's why. Okay. So yeah, just hold H to put it in place and then you can nudge it across. So this theoretically would be my T-split. Oh, I didn't change the color of the paint. Oops. Which would allow me... Does this work? What don't you like about this? Oh, okay. It's just clipping into the... That's fine. I think that works, right? And so then we'll just take out that and that. Oh, I don't like that. We got some we got some clipping together here. Might be able to adjust this.
Interesting. I wonder why that's clipping. It's not a huge deal. I just don't really like when things clip together. It's not super noticeable, but I mean, I guess you'll never really notice it, but when you notice it when you're going by. I'm just trying to think of if there's a way I can fix that. Um, Oh, you know what I could put there? No, we haven't bought. Let's run over to the uh, the awesome shop really quick. I'm not sure how to work this into the blueprint properly. Uh, maybe I'll learn it over time, but there's the um, there's the floors with the like rounded off corners. I don't know if I think I have three coupons total. Oh, I have five. Okay, yeah, that should be fine. So if we go to foundations, we get this one, the quarter pipe extensions pack. And then I'll just put these tickets back in here for now. Up of these slugs in here too, carrying those around for nothing. So yeah, not sure how I would make this mix this into the the actual uh, blueprint. And if you guys have any suggestions on how I can like adjust these roads to make them better. Um, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you ever want to like send me like pictures of stuff you built in Satisfactory to give me ideas that way, um, I do have a Discord. I can't remember if I've linked it in the YouTube or not, but um, if you head on over to some of my other links that are down below, they will, they should help provide uh, a Discord link. I'm going to put this in. Make it concrete. If only I could do a curved rail. You can do an angled one, can't you? No. Is there any way to like... I'm just trying, to, just trying to figure out how to like, because this would be so cool, but in its current state, it would just be open. So I guess we'll just have to do it, uh, do it the uncool way. I mean, it still looks, it will look good from down below for sure. Yeah, that works. I like it. I mean, it's, I don't like the railing, but I like the, the turn corner. And I think that works as a T section. I think I think we'll get rid of the the painted parts. I think those are unnecessary. And so then if I the one here, I'm just missing the concrete for it. So yeah, let me let me take out the um let me take the lines off the blueprint. And we'll just leave it open. Okay, so lines are removed. Grab just more concrete. Should be able to clip these in now. Oh god. I thought it froze and I was gonna fall to my death. So 
one road going off in this direction. Let's leave that out of ways. Oh, whoops. Oh no. I forgot to, uh, I forgot to shift it over. Thankfully, you can destroy whole blueprints at once. And then now I should be able to put these in. Lock it with H. Nudge it over. And now it lines up. Okay. There we go. Now it lines up properly. Then we'll just do the same part here. Oh, whoops. Take it out of blueprint mode, almost deleted that whole road section. We delete these. Turn this into concrete. There we go. Yeah, like I said, I don't know how to I don't know how I'll work that into the blueprint or not. I don't know if I can. Um, if I can, then uh, I'll update it for sure. We're just going off in this direction. I'm going to have to turn a little bit, actually. Or I can go up again. Yeah, I think I'm going to go up again just so I can get over those mountains, and then I'll turn. This road is looking pretty sweet, though. I didn't put railings on the outside like, like I did in the other ones. I just remembered. And then, I mean, I guess it would make sense to have like a light post like right in the middle, right? Like that. Uh, maybe not. We'll see. Might gotta add that back in later. Can always change it if we don't like it. I think I will end up adding some sort of thing going up the side here just so it looks more more filled in. But yeah, I really like how you can't see the asphalt from underneath. I guess it's all black for me, so it doesn't quite matter, but so yeah. You don't have to do the the one meter foundations. Or it's asphalt and concrete because you can't really see it, but. Okay, now before we end this episode off, I really want to go try that road system. So I'm going to use, um, I think I have some biofuel here I can put in. Take our Explorer for a little drive. on over here. I should be able to fit through here. Nice. This is awesome. I'll slow it down. Take this corner here. Wow. Oh my god. Getting around is going to be so much easier beautiful so the only thing we have to work on and I'll save it for the next episode we'll do the four-way split oh do the four-way split um, we'll do some some corners and then I'll also figure out some like pillar support so that this isn't just our giant road floating in the sky but I'm liking how it looks I really wish I could put the road barriers on an angle going up, but unfortunately it seems like I'm not able to do that. Alright, that's starting our road network. I think that's a fair place to end this episode off. 
like I said, these these episodes take me longer and longer to record, so um, I'm just glad to get uh, some stuff in, and you know, we'll next episode can be oh, we should probably get some motors going. Um, or actually, I think next next episode we can set up our a little basic like plastic rubber and oil plant, and then after that we'll set up some uh, maybe a motors plant somewhere. We'll continue working on this road as we go. Um, I mean, feel free to uh, expand it as much or as little as you want in between episodes. Um, I'm just going to kind of send it to, I think for now at least, I want to send it up to where our coal and quartz is. Um, and then we'll probably also send it uh, maybe around to a few of these factories, just in case we need to pick anything up. Um, but other than that, thank you guys again so much for all the support. Um, thank you for enjoying the series. If you're still here, leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next episode.